R and watching China. Hopefully that was <laughs> of some resemblance to what we we're actually supposed to be saying. That means Happy New Year in Chinese. Yeah. So this year we're coming up on our second Chinese New Year. Not coming mm -hmm. up. We just had our second Chinese New Year. Yes. And we're posting past, it after, so then it needs to be this past after. Week. This past week we just kind of celebrated the Chinese New Year here in China. Um, but because of COVID, yay, we were not able to do much. We hope to travel, but yeah. we couldn't. A lot travel. of people here in China they travel back to their hometowns to spend time with their families, mm -hmm. but that's been more challenging this year. So there's a lot more people in our district, which was cool, um, and that led our school um, with the travel restrictions to have a sort of Dumpling mini celebration day where we learned how to roll out we didn't learn the full process yet that making is dumpling. I think we're a little, a little bit, bit challenging but we learned how to we... roll out the dumplings and failed at trying to oh my goodness them. it was actually so hard <laughs> Dumpling debut. <laughs> Not bad. Because they do it all. Like if you're actually, if you know how to cook, I actually know how to cook, not following a recipe, but you actually know what would be good with things. Um, you know that you do everything based on like eyeballing. So they can easily cut these little balls and roll them and they know exactly how much you put in so it's not too much and not too little. And then they, they pinch the sides of the little dough mm -hmm. to do it. And if you don't do it properly, everything comes out during the cooking process. Yeah, if you have like a little bit of the filling, which were all of mine, were pretty much open. His looked like monsters. It was really easy to identify which ones were Tyler's once they were done, because they looked so messed up. Yeah, I mean, it was awful. practice that. Yeah, but, but it was a lot of fun. And I personally really, really liked when we were actually, you know, filling up and folding the dumplings. I like to learn different ways that people could do it because each person, um, almost each person in the room had their own way of, you know, making the dumplings and putting in the filling and actually folding it. Yeah, everyone's fold looked different. Mm -hmm. You can almost tell whose who's dumpling it was by how it was folded. In a yeah, way. and it's kind of cool because that would come from different parts of China and different family traditions. So it was nice to be able to have a little glimpse into that. that I got fun. to, in what China, else? they have um, a lot of the What's times the when they have some sort of street sale or a new place is opening, they'll have these gold eggs that you have. Like and It's like ceramic. <laughs> I'm not sure why they do them on the streets. I mean, we haven't done that, but um, you smash them open and sometimes there's prizes, like door prizes mm -hmm. or, or th certain things like that in them. Anyway, so my number got called, so I got to smash an egg. And I uh, I thought it was going to take a little bit more effort, so I it gave it a good whack and it just went flying it. under the ground. It was quite funny. It destroyed it. We didn't really get a video. Unfortunately, I did not get a video of it. Because of this one. She's still learning in the video making process. <laughs> Still learning how to properly do it, but it was a lot of fun. So we got a little prize from that. Uh, I really liked just seeing Chinese come together. I find that in North America, there's this huge stereotype that Chinese are very reserved, quiet people, you know, they keep to themselves. That is not at all what we have experienced here in China. No, they get loud and They're so and loud. Fun. They're so fun to hang out with. And... 
it's just because this is very much a community I mean, once you get to see that side of them they really include you in everything that they do even with your baseball team and grown adults are not afraid to dance yes so the move. <laughs> oh my goodness it was so funny i think part of it well i wouldn't say this because of tiktok no tiktok has nothing to do with it it's just like the culture whenever we go to a park there's always adults like an old people dancing in a park Almost every day at around like between 6 to 7.30, you're going to find people dancing in the park. Yeah. dancing oh, and, and just being silly and fireworks here uh another thing to talk about fireworks mm -hmm. technically in the big cities fireworks are banned now um you're not supposed to have open air fireworks because of the smog it gets really really gross yeah and just the the danger factor i think um because so many people do yeah. it but we are in a small district just north of the city mm -hmm. still in the city um, so that rule yeah. applies, but people, for whatever reason, they still buy them somehow care. and <laughs> set them off. They don't care. No. At <laughs> no all. Way. On the days leading up to the new year, um, we could hear a few. Unfortunately, we were not here on New Year's Eve when people actually set off the fireworks, but we were here on the first day of the new year. And... It was, we live on the 32nd floor of our building, so we can see fireworks going off everywhere. See them and hear them, the echo, because mm. they take a while. Oh, it was beautiful. And they just echo off all the buildings here. Um, yeah. But one night, or that night specifically, we were sitting just watching, and right down in our little complex, there's a few buildings. We are in a gated community, and there's a few buildings within it. And there's mm -hmm. a little playground, and someone shot some fireworks off in right. the uh, off the playground, right area, the playground area, and it is probably twenty yards from our building. And we looked down upon the fireworks really as they were going. Cool off. experience. I gotta say, so, it was really cool because usually, like whenever I have seen fireworks, it's always from a distance, and you're looking from the ground. It's all ah. about safety and all those yeah. things. But here, it was just like, nope. There's a few buildings around. And we were looking Let's down, shoot like we could see the fireworks <laughs> coming up, and they would not go all the way up, like close to our actual in window, but they would explode. So we saw the fireworks from like up, looking down. <laughs> We're learning lots about the Chinese culture. We're loving it, seeing the, the cool fun. things that, you know, you don't mm -hmm. really learn when you're sitting in Canada and you just have the stereotypes uh, built surrounding coming here. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing that we also did, it was the, when I we went to a friend's house on New Year's Eve, we went there to have lunch. One thing that is very, very common for people to do for New Year's Eve, like every big store, even actually the small little ones, if, when I think about it, they have these already boxes made with a bunch of goodies. Sometimes it's like rice, oil, nuts, um, some weird snacks that they have. Fruit boxes, lots of yes, fruit like boxes. That. So you can buy these boxes and take them to your in-laws. Usually it's like, oh, you get a box, you take it to your in-laws, or any just family in general. Mm -hmm. So you would see a lot of people doing that. Um, we saw a lot of people coming into our complex or leaving with these boxes and it's kind of fun because we received some from our school But there's no way we could eat everything in there. So we took them to a friend's house Yeah, when we went to when we went over for lunch. Yeah, so it's so very it was... much We felt like okay. We're like the Chinese now. <laughs> we take our own little packages to your friend's house Yeah <laughs>
you for watching and coming up we're gonna start making some videos um about what it's like just in life uh, life in china for us and just some of the small things that we learn some of the things we see weird things we experience <laughs> but also some of the cool things that we want to share with you. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out for some of those videos, and we'll post some soon. Yes. All right. Peace out.